So guys, you might have seen some strange and fascinating things going on around those behemoth dam structures across the world. So I thought, why not put together a compilation of these odd occurrences and break down the actual reasons behind them? Well, let's kick things off with this video from the Great Hoover Dam. It's titled as a Water Defies Gravity at the Hoover Dam. Now, don't get caught up in the myths like the dam has got so much water that it just rejects more. And definitely don't think you're going to defy gravity if you jump. Trust me, you won't be flying and never ever try to do such an act. For those of you who didn't know much about the aerodynamics, here's the deal. This dam is built in a bow shape with curved walls making a gorge at the middle. So because of that, it creates a powerful updraft that pushes light things like water back up against gravity. So, no, the water isn't actually defying gravity. It's the air that's pushing it upwards. I mean, the air forces the water to back off. But what if you throw something heavier? I mean, like a basketball or maybe a big rock? Well, let's find out. So we've got this video. You guys can see a person standing at the edge of the dam about to toss a large boulder off. Just, just do it. I'm going to the man. When he throws it, it doesn't fly or defy gravity. That's because while the updraft is strong enough to blow water droplets back up, it's not strong enough to lift something heavy like a stone. Here's another clip showing someone doing the same thing, and surprise, the same result. Nothing happens. Oh my god. That's it, we're out of here. But what if you throw a basketball? Let's get to know this now. Here's a video of someone trying to be clever, tossing a basketball off a huge dam. You can see how the updraft affects its path, making it veer off course. Just imagine how far off its original trajectory it went. But seriously, don't try this near a dam. Next up, you might have heard about the glory hole or spillway. You might wonder, could you survive if you fell into one? Obviously, you're not like that bird that survived the fall into the glory hole by swimming. Here's another clip of people swimming near the edge of what looks like a spillway glory hole. But wait, this guy actually slips into the hole. Oh my gosh, glory holes like this are featured in a lot of dams. Many videos claim that this man fell into the Monticello Dam, a high concrete arch dam in Napa County, California, which is a 304 foot deep spillway hole. But the truth is, this video is from a dam in India called the Sapua Dam. And trust me, it's never safe to swim near these holes because no one can survive falling into one. Now, just for reference, here's a video of a Hoover Dam spillway tunnel, similar to a glory hole. It's 50 feet wide and 600 feet deep. The spillways are located 27 feet below the top of the dam, with one on each side. Any water reaching that height will flow into the spillways and then into tunnels that slope steeply, connecting to two of the original diversion tunnels. If someone were to fall into a spillway, they'd first be overwhelmed by the force of the water. The fall could be as deep as 250 feet, which could lead to unconsciousness or death upon impact. Even if they survive the initial fall, the water pressure and turbulence could cause suffocation or fatal injuries. Here's another clip of a man standing dangerously close to a high-speed water outlet at an unknown dam. This guy doesn't realize how much danger he's in. You should never make this mistake because water flowing at that speed can seriously injure or even sever your limbs. Water at that velocity is incredibly dangerous, so never attempt anything like this. So whether you're an avid traveler exploring new destinations or someone who lives near a dam and enjoys visiting the spillways, never attempt these stunts at any cost. While these structures are fascinating, they come with serious risks. For your safety and the safety of others, avoid swimming near spillways or climbing on dam structures. And if you're into fishing, it's not a great idea to do it near dam sites. Check out this footage from 2018 when a boat carrying three men got stuck at a dam in Grand Rapids. Luckily, the boat and the men were rescued, but it shows just how dangerous these places can be. So yes, dams are incredible and attractive spots to visit, but don't get too bold around them. Who's on the phone? 
If you're more fascinated about such massive structures, here's my other video showing what happens when a dam is opened after years of being closed. Just enjoy the gushing water flows out of the massive structures.